Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Saturday, January 2nd, 2021, and we are at the end of our 40th week of dealing with this. Oh, shut up, you're worse than a woman. She wants me to put my seatbelt on. Unlike a woman, I can shut her up easy. <laughs> ah, we're at the end of our 40th week of dealing with this Chinese bat flu, avoid your friends, stay at home, yada, 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 pandemic stuff. Currently in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is 61%. Not bad. This wasn't what I wanted to do. There we go. That is 25 degrees Celsius. Wawa's me. Thank you, Wawa. I don't care about you right now either. So, uh, what brings us here today? Uh, I went to Harbor Freight. I had I bought a, a hitch extension last month sometime and it didn't do what I wanted it to do so I took it back and I ended up getting oh god this thing which should do what I want it to do which is drop my hitch carrier down quite a bit actually and this thing's <laughs> I bet that's 35 pounds whoo it make a good anvil small small project anvil anyway so I picked that up I also realized the other day that I did not have um, a small tarp in the van when it started to rain I wanted to cover the, the part that I had on the cargo rack and all I had was a huge tarp so I picked up this five and a half by seven and a half it actually ends up being about five by seven but it should cover anything I really need covered on the rack I also picked up they had a 25% off tag um, today which I used on the hitch and then they let me use my my sales tag on this so this was two bucks the tarp and then this was on sale uh, for $2.99 so I got one of these I will drill this through drill holes for this and attach it on the carrier rack and keep the tarp and some cordage in there and then I picked up these because I've been trying to figure out a way to put this curtain up back here. And I saw something similar to this idea on another van, van video. And uh, I'm thinking I will go ahead and, well, these pop off. I will drill right through there, right through, right through there. And then put a screw in it and screw it right into the wood back here and then these clamps will hold whatever blanket I want to put up back there so that's what those are for so that was my Harbor Freight haul Walmart was a quickie today I just got some of my medication. I've been to Walmart three, this is the third time. Uh, each time, the other two days I went, they weren't open. It was either I was there too late. I don't know what the problem was yesterday. I wasn't there late yesterday, but they were closed. Oh, excuse me. So, anyway, now let's see what I got from Amazon. It's always a always a surprise let's see if I can open this without cutting it
I didn't check when I, when I, before I left the house, and this was sitting out by the door. So let's see what all I, what all came today. My little fans. These are for the the uh, plague helmet that I'm working on. They may work pretty well. We'll have to see. I got to put them up. To, I got to hook them up to some batteries. See what they put out. These, these are the little pieces that go on the metal shelving units. Excuse me. You take two of them and you clip them on the leg and then the shelf slides down over top of it. That's for a project you all don't know about yet. <laughs> So, uh, there's those. Now, let's see. Uh, all right, this one I'll need the, I'll need the knife for. Whole steel roach, I think. I don't know. People that, like, recite names and numbers and stats and and statistics of their knives and everything else. I'm lucky if I can remember my name. <laughs> uh, I don't care. It's a sharp knife. I'm pretty sure it's called a roach belly. I don't know why, but it's a nice knife. So it's got a name on there. Can't read it. It just says roach belly. Yeah, cold steel. Cold steel roach belly. That's a nice knife. It's got a nice feel in the hand. It, is, it does have that plastic grip thing. I mean, it's got a nice little serration there to put, you know, put your hand on, put your thumb on, give it a little bit of guidance. It's a nice knife to play around with. Um, not that you should play around with knives, but anyway, let's see what's in here. And it's another box. Ah, the fairy lights. More of my solar powered lights. Again, this is another project that uh, I haven't shown you the bones of it yet. <laughs> Uh, but I will here shortly. So, anyway. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Alright, we'll use this one. That's a quickie haul for today. I'm off to my brother and swooshes. They're going to help me put some of the stuff together in the back. So, uh. Let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is you all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If you want to check me out on Facebook or Instagram, I'll get some links in the description box, wherever that is, on your device of choice. I'll also put links to some of my videos, and you'll find my email, my snail mail, and all that good stuff. So, If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. If I see y'all again, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slaunchy, y'all. Bye-bye. Uh,